Hey friends, it's kit day. It's practically a holiday around here at Softlux Company. We love kit day. So if you've joined us before, you know how this works, but I'm gonna kind of go over it from the top so that anyone that's new can kind of understand what's going on right from the beginning. And so what's gonna happen is today I have this fantastic flower power kit. This is a sold out kit. We sold it last month for this video date. And um, there were uh, roughly 50 of them, I think. They're, they're all gone. But we're gonna open it today and then it's your chance, if you're brand new, to get an April showers design kit, which is the kit for next month. It will have some similarities to the kit that I show today, but be a totally different color palette, different challenge items. Each one is unique and different, um, but has some sort of theme that pulls it all together. So the theme next month is April showers. It's gonna be a lot of really beautiful, um, kind of muted, um, but fantastically shiny types of things. That's all I can say about it without ruining, <laughs> ruining the surprise for everyone. So if you are brand new and you get one of these kits, you don't wanna reveal what's in the kit uh, before the live kit day, which is gonna be April 24th. Um, it, everything's secret. That way it's a surprise as everybody gets their kit and gets to open it up and see what's inside it and start working with it. And then it's your turn after the live kit day, like today for Flower Power, to post your designs in our Softlex BIB group. You join the group, you'll get to see what everybody else makes with the kit, and then you get to post your designs as well. And every design that you post is an entry to win our next kit. So the deadline this time is, I keep looking at my paper to keep track, I think it was deadline, where is that? Oh, 416, April 16th is the deadline to post flower power design pictures. Every design is an entry. We pick random winners though. So uh, you're not gonna win based on how good or, or wonderful your design is. You're gonna win based just totally on a random number choice. So I'm so excited to see all of you today. So I know Flower Power has been a little controversial. It's a lot of bright colors. It's very springy. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. It's definitely not a color palette that I would normally choose for myself. So the big challenge for me today is definitely how do I make these colors um, really work together? Cause it's not colors that I would normally probably work with. Um, but I'm excited to open it up. I'm gonna flip down and we'll start talking a little bit about that. Flip here. Awesome, yeah, so you can find that other kit that we just loaded on our website, which is here, www.softlexcompany.com. And if you could like and publicly share this video by April 2nd, you'll be entered to win a trio of your choice, which is kind of fun too. So a couple things I wanted to talk about um, before I get going too far is we have some new products. Um, not only do we have the April Showers design kit, we also just loaded up this Lazy Daisy tool about a week ago. And so I wanted you to definitely take a look at this on our website. We don't have many of them left in stock because we did a big promotion this last week, but we do, I think, have roughly eight in stock. If you wanted to grab one of these, it's a good time to do it. And I wanted to show you, I posted this in our VIB group, but I wanted to show you on video how my bracelet turned out using the Softlex beading wire on this Lazy Daisy Viking tool. So basically, I was knitting my wire around this dowel, and this is how that looks with Softlex. This is the medium in one color. I think you could probably do multiple colors and you could probably do the, any of the different diameters. And then to finish it, I just crimped. So my wire goes through here, crimps, and then my other wire goes through here and crimps. And then I just did some crimp covers on top of that. And the, these beads are from Humble Beads, if you like the beads 
they've got some beautiful, beautiful beads. So it is stretchy, so you don't have to use a clasp. You can actually just stretch it right over your hand and onto your wrist. And of course, I use the copper color, but you could use lots of different colors um, with this Viking knit. So I did Softlex wire. James did craft or Softlex craft wire, and that was a lot of fun too. So you'll have to check out his video on YouTube that posted last week using craft wire to see uh, what James made. And then Kristen actually used this cone up here to make uh, uh, cone findings in her design, and that was on her Monday video, which is also on YouTube. So that was a really creative, neat thing that you can also do with this cool new tool that's available on our website. Um, so I'll talk about that a little later. The copper I used um, to make this length, I, did, I needed 15 feet and this is kind of short. So I would suggest getting a 30 foot spool if you're gonna do a design like this. Um, but I did wanna point out if you like that copper color, it comes in our new Extreme Metallics Trio as well. And you can find that on the website as a brand new item too, right on the homepage. Okay, so let's start opening up our kit and see what's in here. This week when you spend $65, you get 15% off your order. So if you're buying a kit and you wanna throw in the Lazy Daisy or a bead mix or a trio, this is a good week to do it because you're going to get that 15% off everything that you buy, including the kit. So it's a good way to bring that price down just a little bit. So these kits cost $32.95. Like I said at the beginning, this particular kit is sold out, but the next month's kit is loaded on our website and available now. And what's really cool is when we build these kits, we always get extra bead mixes. And so we have, I think roughly, I wanna say we have like 30 of these bead mixes in stock. They're custom made bead mixes for our kits. Um, you won't see this anywhere else. And this particular one is just full of bright, vibrant colors, tassels. We're gonna open it up and look at it closely. But this is an option on the website to purchase as well. Um, so if you did miss the flower power kit, you don't have to feel like you totally missed out because um, there are some options. Let me grab a few trays to put beads in or spools or something and we'll start opening it up and taking a look at what we got. Okay, I'm gonna look at this first. Jesse James Beads makes these for us and they're always jam-packed full of cool stuff. Like little tassels, these pink little tassels, cute little blue flower tassel. Look at these, there's little orange stars inside. How fun are those? Some pink beads. They usually do most beads in pairs, so you can be kind of symmetrical. It's a beautiful pink bead. Thank you for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. I'm a little behind on getting my trios out for videos, but I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. So if you've already entered in a past video, you might be hearing from me. Some really fun, I like how these are sort of um, textured. They have kind of little bumps on them. We've got some more of those little tassels. Ooh, look at that. How sweet is that little guy? And all sorts of just fun. We've got some bead caps we can work with. Those are always fun. I can tell this is gonna be a two spool bead mix because there's so many beads in here. <clears throat> Got some really fun little flowers. So those of you out there that have this bead mix, what did you think when you opened it up? Were you like, ah, uh, this is bright? <laughs> or, or were you excited about all the different colors and things in the kit? Because this is definitely, this type of color mix is a huge, huge challenge for someone like me. I usually 
work in more muted colors for sure. So I'd love to hear what your reaction was. Ooh, I love these little yellow tassels. I am a big fan of yellow. Susie says, love it. Rosanna says she liked it. Oh, good. Rosanna, you're in Montana, so you probably really liked all these bright colors, I imagine. It's a good time of year to have some bright color. Cute little butterfly. Yeah, we did a color assortment last, at the end of last year. I think it was called Neon Nights. And um, it was a ton of fun. But a stretch for everybody. It was bright colors like this. And I was so impressed with, with what everybody made. So many creative ideas. When you step out of your comfort zone and use something that you may not have normally chosen, you can get really creative. It does scream spring jewelry. <laughs> yeah, not your kind of spring, right? It takes a little longer to get to spring in Montana. <laughs> okay, so there's our Jesse James bead mix. And like I said, we have a bunch of these now on our website for sale. And we actually have a couple of leftovers from um, the last two. I think there's like two or three of each of these left right now um, before they'll be sold out and no longer available. So this one's called Purple Rain. And this one's called Cupid's Kiss. And you can find those on the website as well. And then I also pulled this because I just wanted to point out to you guys this is our Neon Knights trio, which we came up with to go along with that Neon Knights uh, kit that we did. And it matches this Flower Power kit like perfectly. So if you want a couple more wire colors to use with the bead mix, I really highly suggest the Neon Knights. So in this particular kit, we have another really bright, fun color. This is our Chrysoprase colored Softlex beading wire. So this is actually what Softlex does. We as a company manufacture beading wire and we have it in tons of different colors. And this is one of the colors that I would say is probably not a top seller, um, but is actually a ton of fun to work with. And I thought it would be super fun with these colors to have kind of that bright uh, spring green type of a color. So I'm really excited to use this today. Uh, this is our 0.019 inch diameter medium, which is considered all purpose. So it's a great diameter to use with lots of different kinds of beads. It'll fit a small hole, but it can handle things that are more abrasive as well. Oh, Deborah loves the green. Awesome. And then look at this, you guys. A huge package of resin beads in all sorts of different colors. I'm really curious about using something like this that's on the larger side and kind of figuring out how we could make that work. So I might try to use something along those lines. I think that would be a lot of fun. But tons and tons of options, both big and small. There's some large butterflies. I would not say, if you've never seen one of our kits before, that this is normal. Some of these bigger beads are actually quite abnormal, um, but that's part of the challenge this time is that there's some things in here um, that are a little bigger than normal. These are fun. These would make a really fun pair of earrings to match. Ooh, I'm starting to see something come together in my head here. Okay, so let me move this huge pile of resin beads over. <laughs> So we can look at some more stuff that's in here. Let's see. We've got um, some really pretty pink and yellow check glass beads. Pour those out. Looks like the pink is a round and the yellow is kind of a saucer. Kristen, you really like the resin beads, these ones here? Aren't they fun? I like the rounds too, the rounds are cool. 
Yeah, they probably are an assortment of colors, Sue, because we got them in a big batch and then we um, made it smaller. So not everyone will probably have exactly the same thing. That's a good point. We've got a really pretty, this matches our chrysoprase wire almost perfectly, a really pretty strand of check glass rondelles. And we've of course always try to throw in some seed beads and bugle beads that you can use in your designs as well as filler or spacers. We've got some clear seed beads and we've got some beautiful turquoise uh, bugle beads. Ooh, a purple butterfly, that's fun. Yeah, let's see what I got. I ended up with a pink, a turquoise, a white, and kind of a gold, a gold color in my butterflies. Hey Sue, thanks for joining us. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, James um, worked with our staff here to get that all kind of broken out. And then we added some clear beads here just to give you a little bit of something more muted. And I also think the clear beads will be super fun on this beautiful green wire. Let's see. So I'm going to, yeah, if you haven't joined our Softlex DIB group, you're going to go there and um, post your designs. And we will, if you don't, we will hashtag it, hashtag uh, flower power and that way at the end of the time on the date let's see the end date is 416 um, we'll be able to look at hashtag flower power and then we'll pick a winner randomly from all the designs so here's what we have in the clear beads we have kind of a rondelle and then we have a nice longer bead I love these because they're really sparkly really nice and these are actually flowers. It was hard to see that, I think, but these are actually kind of a little flower shape, even though they're clear. Okay, did I get everything? Almost. We always, if you're brand new to this, we always include findings and crimps and wire. So everything you need except for the tools are gonna be found in the kit. And we like to encourage people who've maybe stepped away from beading or um, have never beaded before but done other creative things but want to try beading. This is a great way to do it. We've got two pairs of ear wires. We've got a really lovely little lobster clasp. And then we've got a really cool button that came from Tierra Cast. So this is probably a pewter uh, button underneath with a little bit of a shiny silver plating on the top. And it's got a really pretty floral design on it. So buttons are great if you're doing like a button clasp. This could also be used for a really fun button clasp. And if I get a chance to show that today, I will. And then a package of silver filled, or um, excuse me, sterling silver crimp tubes uh, comes with it as well. And I'm just going to dump those into my kit, my crimp kit here, so that I can find them pretty easily. Okay, so let's, let's make something with all this fun stuff that we have pulled out. Um, before I get going, James wanted me to tell you, if you did the live sale last week, he is hoping to get pictures of your orders and your invoices out by the end of today. He... Doesn't know for sure that he'll be able to do that, but he's hoping that that is going to be a possibility. So check your inboxes. You should be able to find it there. I'm going to pop this to the side a little bit so I have more room to work. Got our findings, our pretty button, our lovely wire. I definitely want to try. Um, I want to try this guy because I think he's so cool. So I'm going to grab some of these blue beads, probably use some of the chrysoprase beads. What would a tassel look like right in the center? That's kind of fun. You can wrap it right in the center. 
and we've got two of those so I could also do get a tassel coming out of this little guy it would be kind of fun to play with too all of this stuff comes in the flower power kit the April showers kit will be revealed next month so if you buy the April showers kit now um, and they, I should say these kits usually sell out within a week. So you want to get on it quickly. Um, if you buy your April showers kit now, the video date for that is April 24th. And then I'll reveal the April showers kit and we'll make something with it today. Um, but what you can get today from what I'm doing is just the flower power bead mix, which is a small assortment of what comes in the kit. Okay, so I'm looking for some beads to kind of play along with this. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the wire, let's take a big piece of wire. I think this is probably gonna be a longer necklace, so I'm gonna pretend at least that it's gonna be. I could actually probably wrap it. Let me get my wire adjusted here. I'm gonna get a pretty long piece of wire out. And if I end up making it shorter, then that'll be a choice I can make along the way here. Whatever I make today, if I don't finish it um, while here on the video, which is, there's a chance I'll tell you I'll finish one part of it later, um, then I'll post it. Either way, I'll post it in our VIB group and you'll be able to see the finished design. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and string my first crimp tube. I'm using the two by two millimeter crimp tubes that came in the kit. They're sterling silver and they're soft flex crimp tubes, so they're very uh, strong. We uh, manufacture crimp tubes that are really gonna go through a lot of wear and tear and be super, super strong. So I've got my crimp tube. I think what I'm gonna do is go through the center of my flower and come around in between two petals. And I think I'm just gonna let the wire be exposed. And then I'll do the same thing when I come around the back side. Since it's a long necklace, I don't need a clasp. Come around the back side, and I can do the same thing on the other side. The only thing I need to remember with this is I have to have enough space to get my crimping pliers in there. So let's see how that's gonna work. And I can picture already like doing some almost like pistols coming out of the center of this flower would be so fun. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it a little close, but I'm still gonna leave it loose enough that it's gonna dangle nicely. And I'll go ahead and center that crimp tube inside of my magical crimpers. And you wanna get it nice and centered so that you're going to, when you compress, you're going to be able to compress all four corners of your crimp tube. And I see I was a little too far on one side, it looks like. Let me see if I have a better pair of these in my, these look like they're kind of funny crimping pliers. Hold on for a second, let me grab my, Feeding kit. Let me see if I have another pair in here. Sometimes I end up with the, the pliers that are not working as well. Let's see. And I'm gonna cut that and actually start over. You know, something about those particular ones does not feel right. They might have come back from a customer. Let me see. Okay, let's try one more time here. Same thing through my crimp. Pull it fairly close. Yeah, these look right. These look better. And center your crimp tube. To This morning I was um, rearranging my office to get you get four little corners to get tools and crimps both here and at my home office because I'll be going on maternity leave in a few, well, it's months. It's not quite weeks, but it feels like weeks. 
Uh, so I'll be doing a lot more beading at home. So I want to make sure I have the right pliers and crimps and cutters in both places. And so I think I just ended up pulling out something that I need to probably get rid of. And there you go. When you've got a good pair of pliers and you do it correctly, it's going to take that tube and make it into a little round bead that's going to actually hold together everything really, really well and uh, give you a nice strong hold. Oh, Neelay's here. Hi, Mr. Neelay. Neelay just booked his plane ticket to come visit me, and I'm so, I mean, he's not just visiting me. I shouldn't take full credit. He's visiting Softflex, but it feels like just me. <laughs> I'm super, super excited about it. Okay, so now we're crimped and we're connected, and now we can play around a little bit with some of the bead mix that we have uh, from Jesse James Beads, which will be fun. I'm gonna toss my hair up here, and I'm thinking we'll start with something kind of small and maybe work our way up. So I'm using one of those really pretty green seed beads. Neely had a fantastic video yesterday, you guys, on YouTube. I post, posted it in the VIB group, but you can find it on his Silver Silk and More YouTube page. And Neely, if you're still here, make sure that you uh, post a link to it. It's a really, really great video. You guys will really enjoy it on using some of his Galaxy wire to make a fun bracelet. Ooh, this um, coral color mixed in is kind of interesting. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna really go color crazy today with this flower power kit, you guys. Like colors I would not normally ever put together. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for sure and see what happens. Fun. I do like coral. Coral is one of my favorite colors. Seeing you is going to be so great too, Nile. And Nile and I will be talking and cooking up a video for when he's here too. So you guys will get in on our fun, um, our fun action too. Hi, Emily. You can always go back and watch from the beginning. Don't feel late. You're never, never, never too late. So this is kind of where I'm at. I'm kind of liking where that's going. I might add a few more beads. And then I think what I'll do is I'll probably go ahead and finish it and we'll do some kind of like pistols coming out of the center and see what that looks like. Awesome. There is Mila's video from yesterday. And when you're done watching this, I highly suggest you go check that out. He will not disappoint you. He's pretty awesome that way. I wonder what one of these cute little tulip beads would look like. Let's try that. The little blue turquoise tulip. It's fun. I could also do since that's a little more transparent, I could do one of these fun uh, flower beads from the resin, which is good. And let's see, let's add another coral. and a coral. I want to come to California and see the Softlex Warehouse too. You can. We're open every, what is it, Wednesday and Thursday, D. You can come anytime between 10 to 3 and you can see us. We're here every week. Okay, so I think I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, and I really want to try the pistol thing. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp it there and then we'll come around and do the same on the other side. 
and then we can see what it's like to do some interesting stuff coming out of the flower. So when you crimp on a single strand, I always suggest getting just a little extra piece of wire out of your spool. If you have an extra piece just laying around, that's even better. Doesn't have to be long, just a little bit. And string our crimp tube. Straighten out your wires inside the crimp tube so that they are as clear as possible. I think what we need to do is we need to plan like one of those fun beading retreats where all of you guys come here and we do like a wine tasting day <laughs> and we do a, you know, class with a Softlex one day and a class with Tierra Cast one day. And, or something like that. One of these days when I am done having babies and I have a little more, <laughs> a little more free time, that's something I definitely would love, love to do. Just be able to put like an excursion together for you guys. Doesn't that sound like a great time? I know. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna check length again and make sure. There I am. Make sure it's the right length. Yeah, it's great. It's a great length. And so I'm going to come around and I'm just going to string my crimp on this time. I'll actually secure that crimp after I put my beads on and I've crimped at the bottom. So this one on this side will be the last crimp that I'll do. And because we have so many great people here that you can visit, we've got beadshop.com, we've got Blue Door Beads and Just Beat It, and we've got um, Tierra Cast, and just so many great, great companies that I know if we all kind of work together, we could have a really fun, exciting excursion for you guys. Oh, Anya, are you going to come stop by this time? I know you come to the U.S. every year, but I don't think you've gotten to stop by yet. Oh, Joy, what's going on with you? Having a hard time keeping it, keeping the video going? Okay, so I've got the same pattern on this side that I had on the first side. And I'm gonna string my crimp tube. And then I'm gonna pass through the center of my flower and I'm gonna bring it back into the crimp tube again. And then I'm just going to adjust so that this crimp will be about the same place on this side as it is on this side. So they kind of match how far away they are from the petals. It's looking pretty close. Let me get my pliers. And I'm just gonna Get a little closer. Again, if you've never used these, they're so fun. Oh, good, Anya. I can't wait to meet you. That'll be fun. I hope you come on a day when I'm here. You'll have to tell me ahead of time what day you plan to be here. Just private message me, and I'll make sure I'm here. Although, when is that? Is that after I have the baby? Oh, and end of September. Oh, I might be able to be here then. Yeah. This summer is going to be a busy time of taking care of a newborn. So definitely limits what you can get done when you have a newborn in the house. And I might be a little owl-eyed <laughs> for a few months. You guys will all understand why, I know. When you see my poor little owl eyes, you'll be like, oh, she's up late. 
All right, so this is where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and crimp down. Like I said, this is the last side that I'll do. And I'm just gonna grab another little piece of wire. This is a great, see this is the wire I cut off earlier. This is a great reason to save your wire because you can use just a little piece from something you maybe cut apart or you had too much on there and then you can use that to be able to secure this crimp just a little bit better on a single wire. Oop. So I'm gonna pull that crimp down to the beads, um, kind of a gentle pull. You wanna get it up against the bead, but you don't want it to be too, too tight. Nothing needs to be really, really tight. It just, it creates, a, that tension can create a lot of stress on the wire and just the jewelry design in, in general when you're too tight about things. I want a little bit of looseness where things can move around. <laughs> Rochelle says she's okay with the up late. It's the up early that gets me. Thankfully, I'm very blessed to have my mother live with us, and she is an early bird. So I have been lucky. Not so lucky with the newborn because they need their mama, but with older kids, um, she helps them with breakfast, and I can sleep a little bit if I need to. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to try doing some pistols out of the center and see... I've never done that before. So again, it's like this brand new thing. We're gonna try and see, I'm trying to decide how I want to attach it on the back. I'm thinking I'm gonna take, let's see, I want the right length. So I'm gonna do two, and then this will be my third. And I'm going to take, who knows if this will work, everybody, let's hope. Um, I'm going to take my wires, my two wires, or my one wire in half. And I'm just going to kind of tighten that down. And the three wires will fit inside of this medium crimp. So I'm going to put a third wire in there too. And I'm just going to get that tightened down just as much as I can because I think what I can do is string this through the back of here once I have it crimped. And because this is folded, um, it's not going to be really hard on my skin. Kristen says, I wonder about looping through the front wires. I wasn't sure how large the hole is for more wires. Yeah, I guess I could try... Seeing it's a pretty decent sized hole. I'm pretty sure these three will fit. Yeah, so this is kind of what I was thinking. I don't think I'll keep them this length, but when I get the beads on, they should kind of drag down a little bit. Um, so let's crimp this, and then we can adjust with some beads and see how it ends up looking. Yeah, the hole is pretty sizable. These are, it's a pretty big flower. I'm going to crimp. We'll see how this works out here. Good thinking though, Kristen. I definitely think you could do some looping down here. You could also loop the way that I have here between the petals. You could go straight down and do some dangles down here, which would be really fun. So many options. So that's what I was thinking. And then once I get the beads on this side and I crimp them, that should stay on there. And like I said, because it's looped, it doesn't have like a sharp edge there, it's soft. So if it does end up against your skin, I'm gonna actually trim this down just a little bit more, this one piece. If it's against your skin, you won't have to worry about it kind of like bothering you. Once I get the beads on, I should it should weigh it down a little bit too. So let's decide what beads we're doing. 
on this guy. I think we'll look for some small, I think like these would be a great option. Some of these small um, coral guys would be good. And the little peridot colored. I'm gonna pull some of those out of this bead mix. And let me get another spool to cut this into. What a fun and colorful kit this is. So speaking of maternity leave, those of you that do these kits every single month, do not be worried. I have plans. <laughs> we, we will still be doing our kits over the summer. Even when I'm gone, I have picked some guest uh, designers to open the kit for you and design. So for three months, you'll get someone different each month that will open the kit and uh, make something. I think that's going to be really fun for me and for you guys to see someone else's designs. So I'm thinking something like that could be kind of cool. I'm trying to decide if I like what length I want it to be. Do I want to beat up all the way or hmm. let's let's be cautious because that's always the best way to go. Let's be cautious and we'll do it kind of long. And then if we need to, we can always kind of shorten it. We can't make it longer, but we could certainly uh, maybe like one long and then two shorter. So what I would do in this case, I don't even need to get a second wire. All I'm going to do is loop this end inside of here and then pull it to wherever I want it. When I crimp it, I can cut off this loop here. But I've got two wires inside that crimp so that I know that it's going to have a really nice, strong, secure hold. And then I'm just going to trim. And I can trim on the other side too. And then I've got kind of a little pistol. Oh, it is going to still kind of stick out. The weight of the bead isn't quite enough to make it pull down. So that's something to think about too. Do I want to go in closer then, knowing that that's going to really be 3D? <laughs> Probably. So let me go in just a little bit closer. And so I'm going to trim off my crimp. And we're going to do the same thing. And if you want to use a second wire instead of doing this method, because it's it does take a little more work to get the wire to go back in, you can always do a second wire. I'm just being frugal, showing you the frugal approach. And I got everything where it's supposed to be. You always want to kind of double check, triple check before you crimp. Because once you crimp, you can't really go back. So make sure you've got it all just right. I want to get this wire to pull through just a little more. See how it's just through just a tiny bit? That makes me nervous. So I'm just going to tug it a little closer. And that way I've got a better length where I know I'm going to really be hugging on to that wire. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of looseness. I'm trying to get the perfect 
tension here. Four corners. Yeah, probably could have used something for more weight if I wanted to. If I had a, a ton of time to play around with it, I would, and maybe I will later on my own, I would probably figure out how to get that weight just right. <clears throat> I'm going to round and around, and then I can go ahead and trim. This actually will be better, too, because I was worrying if I don't bead up to the back of this flower, um, then this would have slid around between here, the, the beads in here. So this is kind of a better, a better approach all around. But Okay, so let's add a couple more stamens. And I'm thinking the same. I like this length actually. So I probably will do about the same. Looks like I did five of those sort of chrysoprase colored beads, a coral and then a peridot. Oh, Anya, that's a really interesting idea. Yeah, you can bend the wire with the plier. Yeah, sometimes it is fun to strategically kink soft flex to get it to do what you want. That's a really great idea. Two. I love the group think that we get here in our, in our design challenges. Um, and getting like live feedback from what I'm doing with fun, really great expertise from all of you. So same pattern and I'm gonna grab my crimp It's fun that these beads are the color of chrysoprase too, so it kind of mirrors having the wire visible in some ways. And I'm just gonna pull that down. And you wanna leave enough room again on that wire, you don't have to worry about it slipping out. Center your crimp tube inside your pliers. And go ahead and crimp. Oops, looks like I need to get just a little more of a square. There we go. Square. And then I'll go in on the sides. And I'll go around and around to crimp all the side of that crimp tube into a round bead. So if you're brand new to beading, I hope you'll check out the April Showers design kit. Right now we've got a great deal on our website, 15% if off if you spend 65 or more. So it's a great opportunity if you're brand new to buy a pair of cutters and pliers and a bead kit and be able to get started. You can also buy the bead mix from Flower Power if you really love this bead mix and you missed the kit. You can always buy the bead mix in a trio or a you know, myriad of items. We have lots of different items on our website. And that'll give you a chance to try it out and join our fun beading family. We have a great community in our VIB group. Everybody is really supportive and helpful. Um, it's a great place to spend time, if you ask me. I really enjoy it. And on our website, a lot of you probably don't even realize, we're posting four blogs a week now with a variety of different kinds of content. For example, this Monday, we posted the instructions for Kate Richburg's design using Softlex that's going to be on Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels. Um, and we, post, we posted a PDF and then the instructions themselves. And then today, uh, Thomas posted four spring design ideas. 
that are really cute. Some really fun flowers that I made years ago. He reposted those. Um, and then a few other really fun ideas. Free project ideas, easy to follow. Um, great instructions, nice pictures. Tomorrow we have a new, um, well not new, it's from our archives actually on our old website. It's an article on color from Margie Deeb, who's sort of a color expert in the beading industry. And we have a bunch of really great old articles from her that we are revamping and reposting. So that'll be up tomorrow. And then on Friday, they do a recap. So any of the videos that we did in the previous week, they go over them in further detail. And that helps to see if you missed anything because we're posting between SoftFlex and YouTube and there's a lot, there's a lot going on. I have never done anything like this. We do have some ideas for men's jewelry and maybe Thomas, you can post a link. I'm pretty sure we have a section specific to men's jewelry. Um, one of the owners of SoftFlex is actually a gentleman and uh, well, both of them are gentlemen, but one of them's a gentleman that designs. And so we are pretty, um, accustomed to <laughs> to men's jewelry ideas and I'd also encourage you if you like men's jewelry to check out James Browning's Conversations and Wire on our YouTube channel because a lot of the designs that he does can be applicable to men as well. So there we go that is my first design and I'll take a good picture of it so you can see it better um, in a still picture and I'm going to make some earrings using these guys to sort of match it, I think. Um, Cause you know, I like a good pair earrings and a necklace or a bracelet and earrings. I like it to all go together. It's like a real flower, so beautiful, I love it. Thank you, Anya. Thanks guys. Yeah, it's so unusual. I would never ever probably go into a beef store and pick these items and make something. <laughs> I just wouldn't because you know you're naturally inclined to pick certain colors or shapes. Um, but this is super fun and really kind of exciting to be able to try something new. Joy says James is an awesome designer. He is. He's really fantastic. We're very, very lucky to have him. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some wire, a decent sized length of wire, and think about what I'm gonna do. If I want to match this, I imagine a nice big green bead. Ooh, these are kind of fun. Look at these shiny little guys from the Jesse James Speed Mix. I want something that's gonna fit inside here and make sense. I'm thinking this green one probably makes the most sense. And then I can do some little pistols like from the flower. I can do them out the bottom of this if I have enough beads, which it looks like I do. Have some more green and corals in there. Let's see how many we can get away with. Cause I'd, I'd, I'd tr truly like to do three from each earring. So let's move that. I need six corals, six corals, and then I need six, oh good, I do have it here. Yay, don't you love it when things work out? <laughs> they don't always, so it's always great when they do. I'm just gonna grab these out while I'm already at it here. Okay, great. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my big piece of wire. I need one more piece of wire. And I'm thinking I'll just, I think I'm going to put something on the top. If I did, maybe it would be like, that guy there is kind of fun. Hmm. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm going to take my crimp tube. And I'm going to pass through both. And this is where my 
ear wire is going to connect. So I want to leave it big enough that my ear wire can connect fairly easily. And center my grip tubes. This is perfect timing for us because we've been doing so much spring planting at my house. Uh, my husband is a huge gardener. He loves to garden. I would say I'm a semi-gardener. I enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it nearly, <laughs> nearly as much as he does. Um, but we've been having a lot of fun taking some of the plants out from the previous owners and kind of refreshing and putting our own spin on the yard. There we go. So I definitely have had flowers on the brain. So I'm taking both wires. I took both wires through the green bead. And now I'm gonna do both wires through this little tulip. This almost looks like a, like a dress with a big ruffle at the bottom, doesn't it? Like you could probably do a little person with these um, resin beads too, like a little angel if you wanted to. Robin says she's a plant killer. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need assistance. I'm not really good at it on my own. I'm getting better with, with practice, but it's not like a natural thing for me. And I think he's also really good at visualizing what plants will look like when they get bigger. And I have a much more difficult time with that. I'm like, how does this all work together? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so thankfully, we do have a green thumb in our house to lead the, the spring parade here. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure I can get as close to that bead as possible because I don't want it to slide down too much. But I also want to make sure this crimp tube is getting nice and centered inside my crimping pliers. So let's see how I do. No, I didn't quite center it. So I'm going to have to work on, work on that a little bit. Yeah, I think if I were to do this again, which I will on the second one, I would probably put another bead. I'd probably do this green bead and then I do like one of these peridot beads just to get it a little further down the, um, let's see if I can pinch this myself, just a little further down the, the way so that it's easier to access. You know what I mean? Because you want to center, yeah, I'm going to actually stew over. That's part of doing it on the fly, is you learn along the way. And I actually forgot to add my third leg in anyway, so this works out good. Okay, lesson learned, lesson one learned. He says, I do the fairy garden and my husband does all the flowers. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds like that's way more up my alley. <laughs> Thankfully, we have uh, little toddler helpers this year. So they've been having a lot of fun digging in the dirt, too, and helping with, helping with it all. As much as a three and a four year old can help, of course. Sometimes their help is not helpful. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add the third wire on the bottom half. So I'm gonna string this in. I'm gonna string, because it would be hard to put three wires through all these holes of these beads. I'm gonna actually just do that at the bottom. So this time, instead of just staying there, I'm gonna look for one of these little peridot beads that has a fairly big hole. I can get my two wires through it and see if I can build up a little bit so that where I crimp it, it's gonna be a little more outside of this. That might not even be quite there, I might do one more just to be 
certain. I wonder if I have, I do have enough of this coral. I could do coral there. That way I know I have enough room. It doesn't get complicated. So here's where I'm gonna add the third wire. So I've got my two wires on the design. I'm gonna add my crimp tube and then I'll pass my third wire in and bring that up to my bead. And this way I'll have plenty of space. I'm gonna try to tighten that down just a little bit so it's up against those beads holding everything in place. And then I can go ahead and compress and see when you can get around the, the crimp, you can get a nice, perfect little square. Here we go. Now we've got it all crimped and I've added a third wire that I can work for. Kristen says, this is making my data entry much more enjoyable. <laughs> I know, not every part of our jobs can be fun, huh? Doing my videos and making kits and stuff is definitely more fun than data entry, which we also all have to do at some point or another. Okay, so now here is where I can add my uh, little beads on the ends. So I'm gonna do the same pattern here. I'm gonna do coral and then green. And I have to kind of decide on length. Um, why don't we kind of do that before I even put the beads on. I'm gonna go a little bit shorter. Thinking about like, it's like trimming hair. I'm thinking about like a small, medium, large, so they kind of sit nicely. It's a pretty long earring, but I don't think it's too long at this point. Okay, so let's start with our small first. And actually, I should probably do the same pattern as what's up here. Looks like I went backwards. We'll do that here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my crimp tube. I can take one of these little pieces that I cut off and stick that in so I have my doubled up. I'm gonna go down to the end, but not entirely to the end. You wanna have enough wire that you can really hold on to it. Don't you want the small green beads as well? I don't think so. I was thinking about just letting the wire show um, in these. And the reason being is that if you try to put all those small beads up to this point here, it would make it go kind of wonky. It would go in like every which direction. So I think it'll be okay in this case just to let the wire show at the top and let the beads kind of loosely fall because um, those green beads are a very similar color to the wire. So I think that's what I'm going to do. When you have like a, a small space where you've connected, it can be kind of hard to bead up to it on all of the strands. I can't wait to see what all of you guys make with this kit. So again, the deadline for posting your designs in the VIB group is April 16th. And I'm excited for you guys to get the April showers kit because it's got something really special in it. Something really special to me. Um, that I've been using a lot lately and I think it'll be a surprise for sure, um, and it'll be fun to see how you use it as well. But I won't say any more than that. <laughs> Even though I'm terrible at secrets, ask Kristen. <laughs> 
Secrets are not my thing. So these kits are really a challenge for me because <laughs> I just want I just want to say what's in it and talk about it. <laughs> but I know it's more fun this way, right? I know everybody really looks forward to getting their kit and in the mail and opening it up and seeing what's inside and kind of letting their imagination flow. So somebody suggested that we put instructions for the kits, um, and I did add those to the group, and then we're actually printing a postcard. I don't think it'll be done in time for this particular kit, but it'll start going out with the next kit, and that'll have just the basics so that people that are brand new know not to show their kit before the live show and when to post their designs and just the basic information um, so you guys don't feel like you have to explain it in the group quite so often. And I'm just cutting this down so I can use the scraps. It's my leftovers from my mistake earring. And so I've got my two wires. I go down to the end. Not the total end, but close to the end. And crimp. And we'll see how this turns out. I just need to add my ear wire to the top. I'll be live again next Wednesday right here on the Softlux Company Facebook page. And I'll probably be using some of my uh, leftover pieces from this kit. I usually do that the next week. And so next week, I'll definitely try to use this button as a clasp. So anybody that hasn't gotten a chance to do that, a button clasp, um, I'll try to teach how to do that next week. So here we go. We've got our earring. I just need to add my ear wire to it. So to add my ear wire, I'm going to just simply open up that little guy there and then I can slide my earring onto these are going to be so fun with my dark hair because they're so bright and colorful you'll definitely be able to see them I love this little tulip in the center so fun so I'm going to make my second earring and then I'll take pictures and post that for you guys in the meantime, you can go to our website, www.softlexcompany.com, get your April Showers Design Kit, There's is the website here. Uh, they do sell out. They normally sell out in, in within a week. Um, Flower Power sold out in like four or five days. So they do go very quickly, so make sure you order one. And right now, if you get up to $65, you get 15% off. So you could add in like a Flower Power bead mix, a Neon Nights trio. Um, we have some other fun spring trios. We've got a lovely Egg Hunt trio for um, upcoming Easter which is turquoise, purple, and chrysoprase. Or we've got a beautiful renewal trio, which has that chrysoprase as well, but then it's got a really pretty dark emerald and a peridot. So if you're into the greens, this could be a really great option. Of course, we've got that new Lazy Daisy tool, which we used so much last week, and we have lots of great uh, video content for how to use it uh, with craft wire or like with my design with beading wire. Um, so lots and lots of options on our website, our new Metallics, Extreme Metallics Trio, which is the trio that Neele used in his Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels design. Um, and we just thought it was so beautiful. We added that this month. Um, or my Southwest Trio, which I used in my Beads, Bobbles, and Jewels uh, design. So let me flip you guys up. And here I am, my messy messy hair. <laughs> um, so 
just to close, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our upcoming videos. We've got a video coming up on April 1st on YouTube Live with Kristen Fagan. It's her free spirit beating, and she'll be doing some uh, fun stuff with magical crimpers and colored beading wire, um, I, th I think, and <laughs> if I remember correctly. And then April 3rd, next week, you'll see me here again on Facebook Live, and I will be going through some other parts and pieces in the kit um, and encouraging you guys to get your kit designs posted on the VIB group. And then April 4th, we'll have a brand new Conversations in Wire with James Browning. I'm not sure what he has planned, but it sounded like he was working on that really cool bracelet that he posted in the VIB group. So uh, hopefully that will be the tutorial uh, next week, and that will be really cool. Yeah, flower power beads. So you can definitely check out our flower power bead mixes. If you loved this kit, this is a way to get a little piece of it. Um, and buy your April showers um, design kit for next month so you can join me and we can all uh, bead together. So I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. And of course, thank you for um, supporting our wonderful company, www.softflexcompany.com. Bye, guys.